Hello guys, good morning. This is Utkarsh from Paraguide. Today we are going to learn about the new service provided by Microsoft called Flow. What is Microsoft Flow? How we can create a complex and a simple flow? So, Microsoft Flow allows organization to automate their business daily operations and processes by creating workflows. We can connect Microsoft to the existing Microsoft services like SharePoint, Dynamics CRM, Office 365, OneDrive, Dropbox and we can also connect with the public one like Twitter, Facebook, Salesforce and many more. So, so they are providing me about 45 plus services to connect with. So and also they are providing some predefined templates that we can ready to go, we can directly use just by specific parameters. Okay. So so what is flow all about? Okay. The scenario will be something that if the new tweet, new tweets have been tweeted for a specific hashtag and we need to put it to the SharePoint list, then we can use a flow for it. Or something that if someone sends me a mail and there is an attachment, I need to move that mail into or attachment into the SharePoint, then I can use this at a predefined template. Save my email attachment to SharePoint document IP. So there are a lot of templates that provides that they provide. So they are, these are all the predefined templates. We can just specify some parameters and we can just directly automate the flow. So, so I'm going to create a, a sample, a, a simple flow for a save my email attachments to a shape and document library. The scenario I'm going to cover is, it's more like that someone clients and send me a document and I need to move that into a shape and library and I need to forward it to some of the team members I have. So, so let's start by creating a flow. So this is the dashboard that they provide. So on the top you can see two options, create from template, create from blank. So so I'm going to go, go with this thing, create from template, the existing one. So it will ask me which templates I need to use. So I will go with this, save my email attachment to a SharePoint document library. So here you can see, it will ask me two things. One is the Outlook account and one is the SharePoint thing. Okay. So let's use so use this template. So here you can see the email that I need to connect with and the SharePoint site that I need to connect with. So these are the two basic requirements of this template. Going further, so you can see on new email, what actions we need to perform on getting a new mail. So this is the basic parameters that we can specify. The folder path whether we need to fetch the email from a specific folder whenever the mail gets dropped to that folder we can we need to fetch that email or from a particular recipient address and there are some many other parameters like has attachment indication true then subject filter if we need to specify so this is the important option that they have provided so if we don't want all the mails to go into the shape and document library we just need to specify a filter suppose maybe we need to specify a filter by something sharepoint salesforce CRM and different different thing. Okay, let's create a flow. So this is the flow name that we need to that they provide. We can specify our own name. So I will for now I will give it something span shape or we can say or to be more specific I can say span dynamics CRM documents to the library to the share one. Okay, so this is the folder path. If we left it blank, then it will there will be no issue. So for now, I will be going to left all these things blanks. I am going to apply a filter here. So we'll remove this thing. First, I will add a condition. Okay, so so these are the objects for the mail, from to subject body, importance, content type, name, and different different things. So we'll spe specify here. If subject is equal to or contains dynamics, okay. So if this condition will be true, then there will be two options: either yes and no. So I will go with here. If the subject contains dynamic, what I need to do? I need to move that attachment associated with that mail to a SharePoint. So I will specify here SharePoint create file, okay. So it will ask me for the site URL. 
So I will specify one of the criterion that I have previously noted. It's a test. So enter custom value, then specify the strike here. Then. We can fetch the parameters from the mail itself, output from the mail action. So it, is, it will take initially some time. Here it, we can specify the file name. What what file name we need to for that attachment in the document library. So we will go with the something name. The file content will be a content. Attachment content. The file. Okay. Let's check whether okay. There's a document. So, so it, it is taking a little bit more time. Okay, so here is the, you can see the different different document libraries that exist in the site. So I will go with the personal document and I go further deep into it to select for a specific folder what I need. So you can see in the SharePoint site there is a called personal document and inside that there are certain folders. So I will go with something project documents. So this is the final destination where the attachment will be moved. Further, going further, I need to action to notify all the other people in my team that new attachment or new document has been received from a Dynamics CRM client or something. So we'll send, we'll use a send an email, uh, Outlook email action, Office 365. So there is an action for it. This is the action that send an email. So I will go with this one. Here we can specify the group name, the team name, the different project, the specific project team. For now, I will specify my own name, uliqa.paraguay.com. Apart from this, we can specify the subject. See, uh, I can do something this new CRM document has been received. This is the subject. Okay. In the body, there are two options. Either we can write a text and going at once, we can write a HTML also. Whether we need to push body as a HTML content. So we can specify the, the HTML tags in the body itself. So I will just go with the normal thing right now. Hi team. New document. So it's a just a general text document. Helping receive from so in the from and we can specify the parameter the object from this thing. So here comes if we need to specify the new line or something, we can use the HTML text. So we'll just we need to specify that is HTML is true and we, we can use here directly the HTML text beyond for the new line. document has received from the client okay. and please review it. thanks you can specify thanks okay so you can see this is the normal flow so it will help us to organize our documents properly in the shape and document library or something so in this way we can organize our all the documents related to the projects like wireframes, documents, requirement documents, test cases and everything to a specific folder. So it's the the less will be manual work and the more will be the automated thing. Okay. So we'll just check it once whether everything is right. So this is the action, this is the action. So whenever I get a new mail, so it will check whether the condition whether the subject contains dynamics. So I will copy this thing. And if it is true, if the subject contains dynamic, it will create a file into the document library, personal document. And inside that folder, there is a project document folder. So it will move that attachment file to a project documents. It will create a file by the name, whatever the attachment that we have, the attachment name that we have provided, and the file content with the body content, the attachment content. After doing this, it will send an email to a whole team. So for right now, I have specified just my name. We can specify the team name here, multiple names the subject, the body and here, here, here we can specify the additional parameter that we so right now I am leaving it blank so let's create a flow okay, so 
yeah so it's created what i can do is i will just mail to myself new email unico so it's a dynamic crm click one man project click one You can see there is a mail. Please find the attached document documents. Let's see whether the workflow has been triggered or not. So this is the document library in which the attachment will be moved. If I go into the project documents, let's see whether there is a document. So right now it is empty. We can go to my flows option and check whether so this is the send dynamic CRM. This will give us. Okay, so it displays me that it is running. Means the document has been. So you can see in the. So this is the document that has been created, published before, a second before, and in the mail itself you can see. So this is the mail. Hi team, new document has received from utkarshavikaparagai.com. Please review it. Thanks. So this is how we can automate our the whole manual process into automation. and it reduces time it reduces the manual efforts it reduces the error means if everything is automated then we can just be dependent on that and it will help us to increase the productivity of a team and to all the team members will be notified whenever the new document or something has been received so these are the predefined templates that we can use like facebook this with facebook wall message in the excel table so these are some of the cool templates that it provides okay so go with that so just refresh this page let's see whether it has been completed so it will show us the statistic whether it has been completed successfully or failure so it has succeeded 2 minutes and the amount of time it hit is taken so it is 12 second 11 seconds when we click on it it will show us the whole step by step actions that it has been executed takes generally some time to load my flows send them so okay so this thing so it has taken 10 seconds for this thing for executing this thing and 4 second 4 second for this thing create a file and send an email so So thank you for watching this video. You can reach us to at www.paraguide.com. Thank you.